I'm Sincere Gonzalez. I'm a realtor in Fort St. Lucie, Florida. It's an ugly, rainy Sunday today here in Florida. Um, anyways, I have some clients that flew in from Las Vegas and they're here to look at property that is at or right under $200,000. It's been very complicated because everything that was right under two hundred dollars has sold really quickly. So we're looking at five properties that are right at or right under $200,000. Let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite. And if you're uh, searching for homes in Port St. Lucie, visit my website, homesearchpsl.com. And uh, you can also text After me what you're looking mile, for to 772-200-9112. Enjoy this tour. Bye. It is pouring rain here in Florida today. We are at 651 Southwest Exmoor Avenue. This house is 196900 it's got three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a thousand, 35 square feet under air, and it's so cute. Let's go take a look. 196,900, here we go. So, this is the exterior. It's nice, because there's no neighbors in the front. Beautiful Florida rain. <laughs> I hate rain actually. I hate rainy days. So, there's your TV wall there. And the hallway. It's alright, guys. Here's the bathroom, the guest bath. Kind of cute. Oh, it's okay. I'll. It's okay. I'll. I'll just. I'll move around you guys. And then here is the master suite with a bathroom. Very nice. Let's see how big the closets are. Oh, it's pretty big actually. Nice size closet. And the floors are pretty in here. It smells good. It's a good vibe. And some storage space here. Not bad. This one's been on the market for nine days. So there's the closet for bedroom number three. And the TV wall, and here's am I one, two, three? Okay, three bedrooms. This is bedroom number three. Okay, there's the closet. It's like move in ready, really cute. Not a huge house, but it's pretty nice for the place. So here is the little kitchen area and your pantry is actually pretty nice, good size pantry, good size pantry. The kitchen is super cute. Super cute. Here's the flooring in the kitchen. And here's the yard. The yard is so nice. Looks like it's fenced, not all the way around, because right there it's not. But it's got some pretty trees. It's a huge yard. I like it. And let's see what's back here. Whew, just never know what's gonna come out flying. From one of these doors. Oh, the garage is in good shape. Very nice. They painted it. There's all your shutters. I like this house. It's a very nice starter home. And your washer and dryer. And your access to the outside. Which I can't do with one hand, so I'll put this back. And then, looks 
like a decently new water heater. Very nice. All right, guys. Hope you like this one. Let me know down below. So we are at 642 Southeast Borgel Street and this house actually won't work for them because this house is only accepting cash or conventional because it's a little bit unfinished or dilapidated. Anyway, this house is 199. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1,689 under ear. Take a look. Watch your step there. And there's the bedroom. It's kind of dark and it doesn't smell good in here. Lots of closet space in the hallway. Pretty large bedrooms, actually. So, I mean, it needs work. But, it has hope. So, I wanted to mention that there are some conventional loans that are 3%. Did you know? Oh. Yeah. So, we could talk to Jean about that. If you really like this house. And that's where the fridge goes, which is not here. The kitchen is kind of, oh my God. Now the kitchen has to go. It's really in bad shape. If you look closely. So it's $1.99, but you have to spend like $30,000 bringing this up to par. So you're better off buying a new house. I mean, doesn't that make sense? There's builders in the area making homes for 230, brand new homes. This doesn't make any sense. I'm not really saving money. What a hazard right there. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Don't like it. This is a thumbs down for me. All right, here we go. It looks like my buyers are on the same page with me. That house was a dump. It needs so much work. And by the time you spend the $30,000 that that house needs minimum, I mean, it has trees growing out of the roof. Check it. By the time you're done fixing it, you're up in the 260 range and you might as well just build a brand new house right now for that much. Doesn't make any sense. Some of these houses don't make any sense yet. There are people putting multiple offers on houses like the one we just saw, which is bizarre to me. But anyway, it is the market that we are in. Next, we are going to 751 Southeast Voltaire Terrace. Hi, Ann there. We're at 751 Southeast Voltaire, and my buyers are in the same frame of mind as me. This is a crap hole of a house for $200,000. You don't get very much anymore. Let me show you around. Okay, I'm really glad they said it, so now I can say it because I didn't want to say it if this is what they were excited about, but they've said it and I agree with them. We are actually going straight to Holiday Builders to meet Joe because they're going to be blown away with what they can get versus what these homes have to offer. I mean, seriously, everything needs to go. Everything probably needs a new roof. What is, I don't understand. I don't understand why these homes are in this price range. Alrighty. That's sad. I'll show you the way it looks on the outside because it looks even worse on the outside. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay. Ta-da. Here we go. Okay, so we could not get into the last house at 2787 Southwest Somber Road. The lockbox was broken, so we could not get in. 
doesn't matter because we are headed to holiday builders where you guys are going to see the difference of what we can get for like 225 227 somewhere under 230 it's incredible for just a little bit more money brand new construction you can literally pick your lot it's a no-brainer but anyway let's go see thanks for riding along with me today this is the not so glamorous times of real estate I'm soaking wet showing these houses on a Sunday so I guess we'll only be seeing four houses today because one of the houses under 200 that we came to see was already under contract so we couldn't even go inside everything sells I don't At the end know the why road, some of these houses sell for so much money but Avenue. it is what it is anyway we're gonna see one more on somber road hopefully it's not disgusting and then we're going to holiday builders all right if you guys want to visit holiday builders or any other builder and see what they have to offer call me and let me know I have a really good working relationship with um, the agents there and you know I can really help you to figure out the best incentives and you know the best streets to live on in Port St. Lucie and um, you know what, what the, oh, once you're under contract you know I can help you by recording the progress of the build for you and you know there's a lot of value that I bring to the table and bringing a realtor with you to a builder road, doesn't cost you any right. money they're Southwest, not going to charge you less Boulevard. money they're not going to charge you less money for the house if you don't bring Turn a realtor right. and it's actually not even a good idea because you won't have anyone there representing your interest so when we deal with these people at holiday builders they're awesome people i love them to pieces but they're representing the builder they're not representing you so give me a call text me if you want to learn more about the builders in port st lucie new construction is everywhere and it's really really well priced makes sense over any of these older homes to be honest so 772-200-9112 if you want more information on new construction in port st lucie all right let's go check out this house here we go <laughs> okay so we are going to 114 southwest christmas terrace my hair is not greasy it's just wet because it's been raining 114 southwest christmas terrace hopefully it's not a crap hole like this last house we just saw um alrighty, here we go Hi, this is Sincere Gonzalez, Realtor in Port St. Lucie, Florida. We're in the Holiday Builders model home. This model is the Fallon, and it goes for about $260. This one, of course, is a decorated model, so it's already been painted, and it's gorgeous. But you can just imagine getting a house for $260 with the land included, and you know everything is pretty much included the way it comes here. All right, here we go. So with these homes, there's no HOA fee because they're built on particular individual lots around Fort St. Lucie. The lots in Fort St. Lucie are standard 80 by 125. Most every lot will be of that size, which you can of course fence or add a pool because there's plenty of room for a pool on any of these lots. It's a bit of a no-brainer with this, these new construction homes. 
because if you're trying to buy a house for 260 out in Fort St. Lucie right now, you're really not getting much of anything. You're getting a house that's old, falling apart, probably needs a new AC. I mean, not everything will be like that, but for the most part, that is what we're seeing out there. I love this Fallon model. And Holiday Builders is a great builder. They have been around for a very long time. I built several homes with them over the years. These are not impact, but they're very good windows. And they do come with uh, storm shutters. This bathroom is not going to look like the bathroom you would get because this is a model home. So this one is designed for wheelchair access. See? But the bathroom you get is really nice anyway. There's storage. Linen closet here. And I mean, it's just gorgeous. Let's go check out the master. Did I show you the kitchen? It's so pretty. Bolted ceilings. It makes it feel nice and luxurious. This is your laundry room in here. Master bedroom, light and bright. Here's the master bedroom closet. It's a huge closet. a little safe there. Master bathroom. So a lot of people have a problem with these inserts that Holiday Builders puts in the homes. And I mean, I don't particularly love it either, but it's very good for cleaning purposes. And to be honest, I have a tile guy that can come and rip this out and tile up this bathroom in no time for not a whole lot of money. So it's an easy fix given that you're getting a brand new house with brand new air conditioning, brand new plumbing, electrical, everything is brand new, brand new roof. So you have very little to worry about for a long time when you buy new construction, especially for the prices that they're going for. So if you want to see new construction, give me a call because, you know, it's not going to cost you more money to come to a builder with your realtor. It's not going to cost you less money if you don't come with a realtor. So you might as well come with someone that is going to represent your interests that is going to help you figure out the best incentives, the best streets to pick when you're selecting a lot. Maybe help you negotiate some extras, help you stay on top of your construction as the process begins, where a realtor can come out and take pictures of the progress or take video of the progress to send you. And that way you know things are happening your realtor can help you when things get complicated. If things go wrong, your realtor can be there to help you figure it out. And it costs nothing. It's absolutely free to you. All of these builders have built in a fee to pay agents like myself for bringing in buyers like you. So it's a free service, it's a great service. Why not take advantage of it, right? Holiday Builders has several models to pick from. This one is a very popular model because of the price range that it keeps you in. It's very nice. All right guys, I hope you enjoy this tour. 
Have a beautiful day. Hi, so we came with Joe, who is the representative I like to work with in Holiday Builders, and we are inside of a foxtail that is under construction. I just thought I'd bring you so you can see what this house looks like in real life. I think this one is like 230, okay? Here we go. With a lot included and everything, okay. This one's not finished, but it's similar to the model where you walk in and you have your dining room and a living room at the front, your flooring, your kitchen. It's pretty basic, but I mean, the price range is just really nice. And the fact that everything is new, there's some things, of course, you can do after you move in. Like me personally, I would rip out this carpet and call my tile guy and have him tile everything and put up some fencing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just a couple small tweaks like the kitchen counter is level. Mm -hmm. There's one over there. Mm -hmm. okay. Can we actually put an extra cabinet in it? There's one bedroom with these awesome windows that Holiday Builders does. I don't think there's power. No, there's no power. So we can't see better, but the flooring is nice. And now there's new carpeting everywhere, which I hate carpet, but it's new. So it's not like a big emergency to go ahead and run out and change the carpet. You can eventually change it out for tile. And then here is your laundry room. In the garage, which we won't be able to see anything because there's no power. And then there is the master bedroom, which we can't see much of right now. But everything is brand new. The closet is in here, which I like that there's a door and separated. I think that there's so much value in these homes. Okay, now we are at the Sago model <laughs> with for, at Holiday Builders, and we're gonna see this house. It's 219 with a lot and everything. The one we saw previously, that Foxtail, Foxtail was 229. 229! Oh my goodness! Here we go. Keep in mind that these houses are a bit basic, I know, but there's a lot you can do after you move in that will add value to the house and make it more your style. But the prices here are just great. Ugh, it's raining again. Oh my goodness. Okay. No HOA. My mask on wrong. No wonder I couldn't put it on. So this is obviously a construction site, but you can get an idea what the house looks like in real life. You walk in. There's one bedroom. There's little. Let me clean my screen. There's that. And there's a. Okay, AC closet. This one looks better in person than it did on the page. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> You're right, it does. It does. It looks kind of fancy on the page. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a little house. Double car garage with your shutters over there in the corner. It feels like a nice space. So all of the lots, like I said before, in Fort St. Lucie, most of the lots are 80 by 125, which is huge. So obviously this one doesn't have any grass yet. I would fence it and make a back porch. But if, you know, something you can do after as well is to put in granite countertops for like about $2,000. Granite, or quartz, Corian. It wouldn't be too much to do. 
have to move in and then we'll check out the little master so cute and there's a shower and here's the closet in here it's super dark because there's no power in these construction sites all right so yeah if you're looking for new construction call me bye